Hey, and welcome mean, back, everybody. Is... Yeah. Because this is what? Well, it's mainly because this is going to be an exhausting task. You wanted to fight the... You wanted to fight the mega... The um, Gamma Monkey, and to do that, we gotta have a navy. Oh, uh, no. Is that... Are you attacking something? Yeah. Okay. So, there are a few locations, um... That we could be uh, be using, and uh, here, follow after me, and I'll show you these locations. Okay, for a start, this is a location typically used by some early game seafaring tribes. Right inside this little coast where I just was. This cove. Yeah, right here in this cove where I, I, I was just in here. This is where I found the hip camp. Yeah, the hippocampi. They'll spawn in here, so we'll just about a whole bunch of other shit. Yeah, but I'm so, talking about the dark ones. The, the ones that were supposed to be Okay, waiting. okay, here. I'm going to tell you what, what these are. Okay, see these two whales on my right right here? There's whales down there? Yeah, two whales uh, right there. Right below you, those, yeah. Yeah, those are known as Aegis. They're not dangerous at all. As a matter of fact, they are passively tamed. Then over here, this big fat turtle looking thing. This is a tortigar. It's getting bitten to death by a megalodon. Uh -huh. It's not. It's dead. Apparently, megalodons have gotten a buff in the recent updates. Uh, let's see. We got some Nidaria over here. A giant jellyfish. Yeah, I know. There's one kind of floating above the water. Yeah. Yeah, they float at the surface up most. The well, real dangerous ones are the ones hidden beneath the waves. Yeah. So, this could be a location where we could have a navy. However, there are some downsides. Okay. Hard to get something big in this deep, in this shallow water. Uh, well, yeah, that, that's the first thing, yeah. There's a limited uh, access depth over there at the beginning of the cove. You can't really ride heavy things like Moses or Tussos into this cove. Now, um, that being said, the deepest part of it may be deep enough for a Mosa or a Tuso to sit in. But, there is another part. A lot of wild and aggressive dinosaurs spawn around this area. Ow, she actually so got we, up here. Yeah, he did. You greatly underestimate the veracity of a Triceratops, Charlie. I mean, this thing is heavier than a tank. I'm surprised he got up there after I accidentally hit him. Okay, so now there is another issue here, though. So yep. as I said, dangerous and aggressive animals can spawn along the shoreline here. Well, that will result in our uh, aquatic tame sitting in this water, completely unaware and undefended, getting swarmed. All right, yeah. By, by attackers. So that's another issue. And the... Fly with me. Um, and the sum total of all this means we could probably cordon off a small area around it but we would probably have to keep a close eye. If we were going to cordon off an area, I'd say we do it with behemoth gates, and I'd probably pick this area over where I'm hovering. Yeah. Yeah. But we would have to clear out the local inhabitants first. This is our best bet right now, simply because it's close in. We can keep an eye on it and it wouldn't be too extremely expensive to fence it yeah what do you think that sounds like a good idea um but can we get everything out ah now as for getting things in and out deep water creatures like mosasaurs plesiosaurs tussos and dunkles probably couldn't get into here by swimming but thankfully, we do have a wonderful tool that enables us to get around things like that called the cryopod. Yeah. 
So we could just suffer the inconvenience and use cryopods. So, now that I've given you the rundown on the approximate costs that this would take, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, sounds like an idea to me. <laughs> okay, then. Well, we'll just have to decide on the dimensions as to exactly how long we want this Navy pen to go. Personally, I would say I'd want the Navy pen to run from here all the way to the entrance of the cove. All right. And just go straight across the water to the barrier island. That'll give us enough room for almost anything we'd want to tame. And by putting down some foundations and feeding troughs, we can ensure nothing spawns inside of it. Okay. Yeah. Darling? I'm, I'm here. Then why ain't you saying shit? Oh, because I'm trying to figure out when this meat expires. It's not why are you concerned about when the meat expires? Oh, because I, I was hoping they would also tell me when the oil expires. And it's, it won't oil be. doesn't expire. Okay, well, that's what I was concerned about. Okay, then. Well, in order to do this project, we're going to need some upgrades to our infrastructure. So let's head back to base. All right. So first things first, we're going to tame us a mammoth. We're going to find the mammoth at base? No. We got a Quetzal at base. Oh, uh, Quetzal 4. For picking uh, up the mammoth. That's right, because the wyverns can't pick up quite everything that Quetzal can. Yep. Quetzal is a sky crane. Wyvern's a bomber. I do not understand how this game decides where to land when you when you issue the land command. Well, for a start, you got to make sure you're at least like maybe one or two feet above the ground. I was, and it chose still to land on a completely different area. Okay, well, let me put these cryopods away. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cryopod our Quetzal, and I'm going to carry him in a cryopod up north. Uh-huh. Now, we're going to find us a mammoth up there up north. Uh-huh. And that mammoth is basically going to be what we tame. Where the hell did I put uh, my belongings? Put them in one of these chests. Ah, yes, this would be the chest. Uh, let me go ahead and drop all these skins. So, have you figured out what's causing the world corruptions yet? That's why. Hmm. No, not really. I think it may just be a running glitch on Ark. But it, it's not that big of a concern anymore. Now that we understand how the backups work. Yeah, now that we understand how the backups work and I make frequent backups, uh, it's not, not really a problem. Okay, well, I have everything I need for that. I just need to head up top and grab the Quetzal. Charlie, why don't yep. you open up the creature finder? Uh, which and, button was that again? Uh, it's Shift F8, or you can get it uh, along the top bar when you open your inventory. Creature finder, okay. And yeah. a mammoth? Yeah, find us a mammoth, the highest level mammoth that you can. We're going to need it for what we're doing. Oh, some odd reason. Quetzal had biotoxin in it. Uh -huh. Strange. Uh -huh. uh, just click on mammoth and then search. That sounds 
correct? Uh, yeah. I got a one level 145. At a level 145? Well, that'll probably be good enough. Well, that's the highest. Yeah. Probably and a slow day for mammoths. It's also one of the closest. <laughs> now, there's a whole bunch of mammoths. Can you see it? Yeah. Mark? Uh, no. I gotta search it myself. But, I can probably take care of going up there and grabbing it. So, uh, here's what I need you to do. Uh-huh. Uh, I need you to... Actually, I don't really need you to do anything here. What I need you to do is go inside and try and find the resources to make a mammoth saddle. Yeah. So go inside, make us a saddle for it. Because when we get it in here and we knock it unconscious, we're going to need to saddle it. Now, this mammoth is what's going to help us make the behemoth gates necessary for sealing off that navel pen. Alright, and what about craft saddles in again? Smithing. Smithy, okay. Now, it'll probably take me a little while to fly this mammoth back if it doesn't get killed by wolves before I reach it. Is there a reason I'm not getting any information? Like, it's not telling me the ingredients or anything. Ah, uh, okay. Look at the side of your inventory. Uh, look at the button that says crafting on your inventory when you open it up. On my inventory? All right. Yeah, on, on the left side when you open up your inventory. Okay, now, in. you see where that crafting button is, right? Uh-huh, in the, the... Okay, well, right below that, it, while your inventory option is still selected, right underneath the crafting, there tool are... Tips. Yeah, toggle right. tooltips. All right, so you want me to craft this, right? Yes, I want you to make a mammoth saddle, because we All will right. need the saddle for the mammoth. All right. I also need you to make sure that both the doors to the taming pen are closed and that all the animals are moved away from the taming pen and whistled passive. Okay. Uh, we have empty cryopods in the freezer. Yes, we do. <laughs> now, not, not in the cryo freezer, in the normal ass freezer. No, well, it's okay. They can be in the normal ass freezer. They don't have anything in them. Okay, well. Well, it said dead, so... Oh, right, sure. right. The, the, those were the ones that I brought over through the obelisk. You can't bring them through the obelisk without them dying. But if I were to put them back in the cryo-freezer, they can effectively revive. All right, yeah, both sides of the pen is um, empty and closed. Yeah, now make sure that nothing's close enough to get hit. I somehow just collected berries from the ground in our house. Well, it's probably because there are berries underneath the floor. Now everything should be far enough away. Okay. Have you made it there yet? Uh, yes, I've made it there. I am getting on Castle in the Sky right now, and I am going to pick the Mammoth. He is only 500 meters away from me. And once I have picked him, I will be carrying him back to base. Alright. It will be a long damn flight. Yes, it will. Because, as you know, Quetzals are slow as shit. Uh-huh. Can't you, like, build a base on top of them? Yes, you can, but a platform saddle is much more expensive than the saddle we have on him. Yeah. Okay, target is in sight. 
But he's moving away. Preparing for Halo Evac. And Halo he's Evac achieved. So he's moving quick now. <laughs> All right. I guess I'll see you here in a second. In a second? Fuck. Oh. Sorry, in a minute. No. Don't understand what. Why you say no? Charlie, it'll take at least ten minutes to fly this thing all the way from the cold north to the red obelisk. Yes. I mean... I can't ride this raptor. Why not? It just won't let me. Because there isn't a saddle on it? No, it says ride. And there's definitely a saddle on it. Uh, well, I don't know what to tell you then. Like, it kind of adjusts my position, but that's it. Because I was trying to move him a little bit farther back. Maybe it's because you ha are overburdening him? Uh, well, he's almost got nothing on him, and I've absolutely got nothing on me. It doesn't matter. It's all about weight, Charlie. It's all about weight. Okay, I'm going to have to land for a moment for stamina. Oh, well, thanks, game. I don't think you use stamina just, just for flying. Yes, it, it, of course it does. I don't know why I'm even asking. I wish there was a button that auto sorted at your inventory. Mm. Believe there may be. There may be, though. I don't know what it is. Okay. I found an alpha raptor. Well then, by all means, kill it. Kill it, take its prime meat, and then take it o over to our industrial grill and cook it. Alpha Raptor. Now, you see, the dangerous part Ooh. about airlifting something in the middle of the night like this uh -huh. is when I need to stop for stamina, I can't tell if there's anything on the ground that will pose a threat or not. Uh huh. Right now, I'm nearing the river pass heading by the Redwoods. Okay. Uh, dark blue. It says Apprentice, right? Like apprentice a, what? A metal pick. Uh, what about it? I don't know. This, this raptor's got two of them. Charlie. Yes. You need to learn that the crap that you dig out of the dead bodies of alphas is usually not very great. It's just better than normal shit. Yeah, it's, And right it's, now, you're talking not... to a guy who doesn't use anything less than Ascendant. Yeah, I mean, it's not better than and the pick you I, have, I know. have a Mastercraft. I know that. I was the just only saying thing better than Mastercraft is Ascendant. So there's no reason to worry about that. I'm not worried about it at all. I am, however, worried about the fact that my... I've got, like, a ton of, um, primitive meat here. I'm sorry, prime meat here. I'm just kind of letting it go to waste. I should really be cooking it, like you said. Yeah, I told you to take that prime meat to the industrial grill and cook it on up. However, prime meat does have a second use. What? 
spoils faster than normal meat. Yeah. Meaning it's good for narcotics. Uh-huh. In other words, having a lot of prime meat lying around ain't exactly a terrible thing when it comes time to knocking out an animal. I mean, I've got a stack and a half of narcotic as it is. Not narcotic, of um, spoiled meat on this wyvern as it is. Down to a quarter stam. It's going to be close. I'm going to try and push as far as I can on it. How much food can this grill um, have? Uh, I think it can hold around 60, 70 pieces. And it cooks about 12 at a time. I mean, but it's expensive enough for the amount of resources it took to make. Especially considering we don't have an um, industrial forge yet. It could hold a hundred. Oh, okay. I don't know why I didn't just look here and see that. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to make it to the base with this thing. Though, I may just have to drop it in the yard. I don't know if I'll be able to make it to the um, taming pen. Now, a little old white drop coming out, coming down right next to the obelisk. I don't know why they have to put an icon that says not grindable to stuff. Oh, I'll explain why. You see, sometimes a supply drop will give you an item that would normally be so ridiculously expensive to make that there is a crafting station that could hold all the items it would take except a tech replica. Oh, by the way, I'm coming in hot. Okay, I'm cooking prime meat, which it's already cooked all of it. Except for what and I'm putting And Mammoth is in the taming pen. Okay, where do I need to put this oil? Oil, um, I wouldn't really worry with it at the moment. I'd just shove it anywhere. I think we may even have a chest over there for the oil. Okay, you got us a mammoth saddle, Charlie? Uh, yes. Where's the mammoth saddle? In my inventory? Uh, yeah, in my inventory. Okay. That reminds me. Let me put these two saddles on these frogs. Because I brought them back with us. I'm happy that the storage counts as, um, counts by stacks and not by actual item. Yeah, it counts by the stack. And stacks can vary depending upon the item itself. Yep. Alright, uh... You need the saddle, don't you? Uh, well, no, not really. But look at my noglin. It looks so weird compared to yours. Yours is, like, flashing. Like, the eyes are flashing all across. Well, yours does that, too. Does it? Okay. Yeah, mine are pure white, but yours has a pinkish hue to it. So, I've heard tell about how you're supposed to tame these things on Genesis Part 2. How's that? Supposed to sacrifice your tames to them. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. 
All right, so uh, let's, let's name us a mammoth. Okay, uh, you got yourself a good crossbow or something? Uh, got me a um, journey, journeyman. Uh, okay, well, that's clearly not good enough. You got narco arrows? Um, no. I'm looking for them. Okay, find you some narco arrows. I'll give you a crossbow. I'll give my crossbow. Your crossbow is shit. I need to make some narco arrows and drink some water before I dehydrate to death. And Why is it that you're wearing fur armor in the hottest area of the tropics? Because I'm stupid. Because you're a jackass. Let, let me drink the water. Drink the water. All right. Um. Gosh darn it. Uh. What was I getting? I was making narc arrows. Yeah. Need arrows? I got a bunch. I got a hundred in my inventory. I almost have a hundred now. I've got ninety-two. Yeah, that should be enough. Um. There's seventy-one spoiled meat in the in this um thing right here. Wow. What? That mammoth really does not want to stay in our taming pen. I'm going to need to readjust him. Hold on. He managed to glitch himself up onto the walkway. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing this. I mean, he's not going to escape the confines of the yard, but we don't want him being able to hit our tames. Um, he's getting back up. He's back up. <laughs> Does he fit in this hole? He should. This is the most glitchiest bullshit I've ever seen. This is crazy glitchy. Hmm. Let me, um... Let me see if I can adjust him a little more appropriately. Well, I'm ready with my arrows. Oh, yeah, I can't start shooting them until you can get them in there, though. So what's the difference between him and an uh, elephant? Uh, he'll gather shit tons of... Wood is... One He's in there big... now. Hold on. Let's make sure he's actually in there. Okay. Move back towards my tower a little bit. You don't want to be right on the edge. Alright. And I'll hand you a crossbow to shoot him with. That's right, you don't want me to use this one. Yeah, because it's crap. <laughs> I literally just got this one, too. It's crap. Sorry to inform you, Charlie, but in the meta of Ark, um, you know, crap is crap. <laughs> I mean... That's the kind of shit that maybe once worked on uh, Parasaurs. Here, here's one for you to borrow. I use this one in Aberration.
Ascendant. Yep. Best kind to use. I'm going to be standing here over on where the Quetz normally is parked, firing at him. You can fire at him from uh, over there. If we keep his attention divided, hopefully he won't try and beat one of us to death. Now, um, in order to minimize chances of him um, rearing up and killing the crap out of you, uh -huh. I would advise not getting too close to the pit and just aiming for the top of his head and his back. I will start. Three, two, one. I just keep shooting him? Yeah, shoot. Did it hit? He's down. Oh, I thought I killed him for a second. Nope, he's down. Okay, that's good. Hand me back my crossbow. Yep. There we go. Let's go down and see what this newfound puppy has for us to see here. <laughs> Okay. Well, this what? really ain't a great mammoth. It was the highest level one, though. Yeah, yeah, but um, here's the thing. He's got over 28 levels put in movement speed. That's not great. No, it's not. Where yeah. is my... Spyglass? Yeah. You keep losing them. I don't know, but I had one earlier. I don't know where it is now. Well, it doesn't really matter. You don't need it right now. I know, but I was um, going to use it to see But he stats. does have 22 levels in melee and 18 levels in um, weight. And those are the two stats we really need for what we're taming him for. Charlie, you can open the gate. He's not going to wake back up. How do we tame Especially him now? Uh, well, first, I'm going to pump him full of uh, biotoxin. There. Now he's not going to wake up for a while. Secondly, I'm going to take some of the kibble that I graciously donated to us on the Crystal Isles, and I'm going to put two in his inventory when he's hungry. Okay. So where are you flying off to? To kill a giraffe. Why are you killing a giraffe? Because it's right here and I can. Okay. His body kind of broke. By the way, remember you'll need to come back and saddle this bad boy. Now, killing one speak. thing is so much meat. Yeah. A Brachiosaur yields a hell of a lot more meat than that, though. Okay. So, let me take tally of some shit here. We have a... M We're in the process of taming us a Mammoth. Uh, we have us a Castoroids. We have us a Doodicarus. I'd say we have the makings of a construction crew. Oh, good. Yeah, we'll need to make us a um, an S plus uh, crafting station. Oh, we already and, had one. Uh, no, we'll need to make us one for the construction site. Oh, okay. So we can build on site and not have to worry about crap. All and right. th and then we can begin gathering resources and construct. See, I spared you the boredom of me making all these damn walls and the high towers and everything. I'm not going to spare you anymore. <laughs> all right, well, I guess we'll yeah. have to do that on a different day. Yeah, we'll have to do that on a different day. It'll probably take an entire session of just us crafting. Oh, that's always fun. Well, yeah. until then, I hope you all have enjoyed this. And we will see you next time. Uh, bye. Night. You veiny motherfucker. It's not veins. 
its nerves. <laughs> Guess you could say you've got nerves of steel. On, go down, fall asleep. Homo Deus does not go down. Okay, we keep up with you. Oh man. <laughs> 